Hello world. Let's take a look at the most optimal workflow on how to improve your result when it comes to color grading 8-bit drone footage. This tool or technique I'm about to show you will work on all kinds of 8-bit footage, but today I'll focus on some drone footage since drones like the Mavic Air 2 has become a very popular travel companion because of their small size and convenience. But that same convenience comes with a price, 8-bit. In technical terms, an 8-bit image contains 16.7 million colors, while a 10-bit image increases that to over a billion colors, giving you a lot more headroom when it comes to manipulating colors. The massive decrease in color information when shooting in 8-bit means that you work on an image that very easily breaks apart when color grading if you're not careful. And the reduced quality of the color information in the footage makes it difficult to qualify colors and get a clean qualification or a clean key. The last thing you want is for selection to be noticeable in your footage. And apart from easily breaking up and showing artifacts, the 8-bit footage has a tendency to show banding, which obviously is also something you want to avoid at all costs. So what's the best way of qualifying colors on an 8-bit image? Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and let me show you. So what I did here, I just have a small project with four drone clips. These last three ones are from my good friend Matt Matthews in Edmonton. There's going to be a link to his website in the description. And thank you, Matt, for letting me use these. First thing I want to show you is here in the vector scope. So you see this banding, these blocks of color. This is a clear sign that you're using 8-bit footage or footage with a lot of noise. This should tell you that you have to be very careful when you start color grading this, making sure that you pay attention to, to the footage because it's going to break easily. If you go to the, the file info page here, you can see I have H.264, H.265 codecs here. These are deliverables. These are not designed for editing or color grading. So if you have any way of doing it, you should transcode that to ProRes 422 or DNX HD. Would, that would be good, obvious choices. Bring that back into DaVinci and start grading that. That's gonna give you a much better uh, grading experience and a much better playback um, experience on your computer. So do that and start working on that instead. The, Visible loss is going to be minimal. You're probably not going to see any difference at all anyways. So normally what you would do, what I did here, let me just tell you, I did an exposure and balance correction here just to make it a little bit more pleasing to look at. Uh, and let me just start off by saying I'm going to overdo everything a little bit here because of YouTube compression. It's going to be a little bit hard to see some of the things I do. So I'm going to overdo it a bit so it's it's more easy for you to to see the point of what I'm doing here. So one of the things you want to do when you change colors in a normal 10 or 12 bit image is to use the eyedropper tool and um, you start selecting, let's say I want to select the greens here. So you start drawing across your screen and you can you can tweak your your colors here a bit. And obviously you can clean the, the whites and the blacks, you can uh, blur it and you can denoise it. But no matter what you do, let me just do some corrections to this. Let's just increase the gain, increase the saturation a little bit. Like, like so, so this is before, this is after, before, after. Not much, but I did a little bit here. When you start to play this, the easiest, easiest thing for you to, a way for you to see it is if I go full screen and play with a highlight mode here. Look at all this chatter here. This is in some way or form gonna be visible. How much depends on your footage and your qualification but there's no way around it. You are going to get chatter when you play 8-bit footage selected like this. So what do you do? Is there a better way? Yes, there is. So if I turn this into a, I make a new version. 
and here on version 2 I'm going to turn this qualifier off and go to another way of doing this turn this on if you go to color presets you have six vector presets and what are they well the six vectors refers to the six regions of the complementary colors in the color spectrum red green and blue cyan magenta and yellow the six vector presets is a preset definition of these six colors so basically it's just another way of selecting the colors instead of using an eyedropper tool DaVinci is using the saturation and luma values and selecting these colors for you normally you would be doing color correction with six vector presets as a secondary color correction which implies that you have already done your overall exposure and balancing of your footage so if you select the vector the preset for green if you select the highlight you can see DaVinci made a very soft green correction or qualification and you can you can tweak that a little bit of course to your liking let's say you're gonna get as much as possible without getting the houses and now if I go to this note and I wanna I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna copy only the color grades so I'm gonna alt V and only copy the primary uh, selections like so, so now I have the exact same adjustments like I did in the other note. So this, if I turn the highlight mode off, this is before, after, before, after. So in this version, I have the vector selection and let's try to play this one with the highlight mode on and in full screen. You're still gonna see a ch some chatter, but it's gonna be very, very low. If I go back to the eyedropper selection, Look at the chatter here compared to the preset selection. Massive difference. Massive difference. And that's the best way to do that on an 8 bit footage. I have another example here. This is a, a way of, let's, let's say you want to select the blues here in the background here. You want to remove some of this blue color casts so we're gonna go in and counter that we're gonna lift it up a little bit and uh, warm it up a little bit so this is before this is after before after again with the eyedropper tool again in full screen gonna highlight play it look at all your your chatter. Look at all the things you brought in to your selection. Um, and again, you can tweak that, but you're never gonna get a clean result. So if you're instead of that, you make a new version, and this new version, gonna turn that off. I'm gonna, oops, I'm not gonna copy that I'm gonna do the the closest thing I can get to selection here is probably the blues so I'm gonna highlight that let's see yeah that's pretty good selection and then I'm gonna copy this note and I'm gonna copy only the primary corrections so now I got before and after before and after and let's play that in a highlight mode Look at the difference here. Go to the previous version. Look how blocky and how much chatter you have in this. And now we change back to the preset selection. That's my advice to you when you start color grading 8-bit footage. So what do you do if you want to select the sky and you, you don't have a specific color you want to select? Well, you go to the qualifier normally with the eyedropper method, method, select the sky, you try to get only the sky here. And if you, let's, let's say you want to bring it down a little bit, you want to add some warmth to the sky. Maybe you want to decrease 
the softness, make it a little bit more soft. Um, now let's just play that in highlight mode. Full screen. Not so easy to see, but let me zoom in on it then for you. And put in the highlight mode. Look at all this cheddar here. Again, look at these blotches of colors. Look at this, all this moving around here. Not a good option. Not something you want to see in your footage. It's all over the place here. So, what's another way? Make a new version again. Gonna disable that note. Gonna enable this note. And instead of a color, you have a preset for Luma or Chroma. Chroma light. If you select this, look at the highlights. You can tweak it again. Gonna copy this note. I'm gonna paste only the color corrections. So you have the same like before. And if you zoom in on this, highlight mode on and play it now, you have nothing, no chatter. Okay, in full screen. Look how, look how smooth and nice that looks compared to the other version here. I'm going to play that in full screen. Especially look at this area. And then we have this, the, uh, the version with the presets. So to recap here, the H264-265 codec is a deliverable. It's not designed for editing or color grading, and in fact, even the most powerful computers can struggle with it. Instead, the better option is to transcode your footage into ProRes 422 or DNX HD and re-import that into your project. The performance will be much better and the visual degradation will be very hard, if not impossible, to see. Secondly, be very careful with 8-bit footage when you color grade it and pay special attention to the fact that it easily breaks up like I showed you or that you introduce banding or other artifacts if you push it too much. And last, if you can avoid it, never use the eyedropper tool for qualifications on 8-bit footage. Instead, try to go for one of the six vector presets and tweak them instead. The result will most likely be much more organic and useful for you. I haven't found a similar tool in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere, but if you do know of one, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have fun grading.